Hello, this is Dead Hamster, and this will be chapter 11 in the new tutorial series for the Tarmac 5 editing kit. This last chapter will be compiling the actual course and getting everything into the game now that we've set everything up. We've created our course, done our textures and UVs, set it up for export, uh, got it into the editor, made all the adjustments that we've wanted to make, placed our custom objects, and we're now ready to compile everything together. We're going to go to the course compiler and load our FBX file and our POP file. Now there's an import and export button. These buttons allow you to export and then re-import all of your current settings in the textures, the section lists, and all your custom objects as well. So we're going to import the backup that we made in a previous, uh, previous work. So all of our texture settings have been maintained, all of our bitmaps and uh, Die images and everything are also maintained. Uh, the course is now ready for export. This is all the work that we've done in the previous videos. So I'm now going to hit the compile button. It's going to ask me to save an ok64.course file. I'm going to save this tutorial uh, ok file. It says finished. Now go back to the tools and go to the game builder, the last option on bottom. This will bring up a small window with plus and minus buttons and a drop down box. We're gonna hit the plus and select our tutorial.ok64.course file that we just exported. You could see it adds the tutorial as well as a unique key string. This is used for time trials and verifying that the level is actually the level that it was and not a previous or newer version. Uh, this is now ready. We're going to need a ROM that has been prepared with the patch that's applied in the uh, the tool, or rather pro uh, provided in the toolkit download. Apply the patch to a USA version of the Mario Kart 64 ROM, and you can select it for uh, for export. We're going to select that file. I'm going to ask you after it's finished to save a new file. I'm going to call it Tutorial 5. And it immediately saves, and we're ready to test this out. Go. Oh, I have something funny running. You won't yours won't run as slow as mine currently is. So you hit R on the uh, the course select screen and that'll bring up the custom selects. Uh, I use Lon Lon Ranch for my preview textures. I didn't make my own custom ones for the level, but you can see your preview textures and banner things here. And here's our level. So you can see our barrel objects. When I hit those, they don't seem to be rotating though. I'll have to look into that and figure out why that is. Uh, up top, you notice our screen isn't currently working, but if I were to enable the frame buffer, Oh, it looks like it's out of order. That might be from the uh, a clamping, perhaps? Most of them look okay. I think I might have just done them out of order. I'll have to look back into that as well and check my UVs. I think maybe my UVs are one-to-one, -one, but they're not the right way. I think I have them flipped. So you have to make sure your UVs go from top to bottom and left to right. I think is what the issue there is that some of mine got flipped upside down and that's why they're not displaying quite properly. Uh, otherwise though, you can see the level here. Uh, we have our shaded shadowy area where our vert colors were and uh, our mini map in the bottom right doesn't quite line up properly but we can adjust that with an in-game tool. So driving through here, you also had noticed uh, perhaps an echo sound. Very deep echo sound in this area. Again, that was one of the path options we set. 
Uh, this is the custom level. Everything works as it's supposed to. These are all our settings as we had put them in. You see the boxes pop up as we appear close to them. Um, this is making a custom level for Mario Kart 64 using the new uh, Tarmac 5 editing kit. So hopefully this will help you make your own custom levels. I'd love to see them. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need any help, or you want to show off your work, uh, please join the Overcart 64 Discord where all the uh, Mario Kart 64 modding takes place. We'd love to have new members and we'd love to, uh, to show you guys how this new tool set works. If you have any uh, ideas, advice, things that we can improve, ways that we can add new features, please leave a comment below or again join and let us know and we'd uh, love to uh, you know, get some feedback. As always, we appreciate the, uh, the love and support from the community. It really helps uh, encourage and make all this worthwhile. We hope that these new features are going to uh, excite you guys and encourage you to make some new content. And uh, I, for one, definitely look forward to, uh, to seeing what comes out of it. Uh, again, appreciate everybody's support, as always. And until next time, you guys take care.